welcome back to my channel. This is the beginning of a travel vlog because we are going on holiday. Where are we going? Sandens, where are we going? Berlin. Berlin. Berlin, love. We are going to Berlin tomorrow um, for a few days. We've, we're have we staying by the airport tonight, so we're currently in a hotel room. We just got here and it's, what's the time? What? <laughs> What's the time? Oh, it's 20 to 12. Does anyone else's boyfriends do this? You'll speak to them and they'll reply to you about five minutes later, but somehow have listened to what you said, but it hasn't processed for about five minutes because Sam does it like every day. What's the time? 20 to 12. So it's 20 to 12 and we just got here. I said we'd leave at six. Didn't do a very good job of getting ready. Um, and it's only, it was only like a two hour drive, so we didn't leave until half nine, 10. What time did we leave? Half nine. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> half nine. We left at like half nine. We went some like proper back roadways that took ages. We are just staying here. We've got to get up at, what time is the alarm set for? Half four, yeah. yeah. We have to get up at half four. Our flight's at nine, 10, but we're boarding at like 8.30, I think. So, I mean, we've got half an hour from here to the airport. So we're going to leave here at five in the morning. So we probably should go to sleep because we're not going to have much sleep. We tend to do this when we go on holiday. We did this when we went on holiday last time. We didn't get to our hotel till like midnight again. I don't know why. And I had to get up at three. So yeah, we should go to sleep. But anyway, yeah, I need to stop chatting and get on with it. Chatting all this. I thought that because I always feel like when you go on an aeroplane, you can't be bothered to make effort, but at the same time, you don't want to look like really horrible. So I thought I'd try the dressing gown curls thing in your hair. Sorry if um, the camera's wobbly as well, it's literally balanced on some towels on the bed um, because there was nothing near me for me to stand it on. Yeah, so I thought I'd try the dressing gown curls thing. So I will do it in this video so I can show you tomorrow what it looks like. I've done it before, but I can't really remember what it looked like. I have no idea whether it worked or not. And you can get the proper things to do it with, which I think are better because they're more of a solid shape, so you get more, you get better curls. Where with, with this, if you do your hair too tight, it ends up squashing the dressing gown, and then you get really tight curls, which is not like the idea. But my friend did it like two days ago and it looked really nice, so. I thought I need to try it again because I haven't tried it for about a year. So basically what you do is you put the dressing gown tie on your head and you normally clip it, but I couldn't find a clip big enough so I don't know if it's actually will do anything. Clip it to your hair just so it stays. And separate your hair in half. Um, and then I just tie one half to the dressing gown just to hold it in place a little bit. Also, I did wash my hair before we left. Well, quite a few hours before we left, so it's not really wet at all. It's I just dampened it a little bit with some water from the sink. It is a, it was a little bit wet, a little bit damp, but not much. But apparently, I've seen. I don't know whether it's true or not, but apparently, it's better if you do it on dry hair. So we will find out tomorrow or basically dry hair. I made the mistake um, one time before to do my hair too wet, so when I took it out, my hair was still wet, so the curls just dropped straight away. Um, so basically what you do is you just wrap it around like this, and then as you bring it to the front here, just grab a bit more hair, separate it, and then just wrap, and then bring it forward, grab a bit more hair, but I just thought this was a good idea to do because then at least my hair won't look horrible tomorrow but I haven't really had to do anything to it and I can just get up hopefully take this out of my hair which will take about two minutes and it should fingers crossed look quite nice but I'm not I'm trying not to do it too tight because I don't want really tight curls I want them to be loose and bouncy and I think if I do it too tight then I you do what I said earlier and let's squish the dressing gown in too much. So I'm going to do it like that and see 
and then you just get a hairband and tie it at the bottom. A bigger hairband probably would be better. Actually, yeah, I might use this one that's on my wrist. That is basically it. And then just keep that as a loop so you've not got such a long dangly thing there. So that is basically what you do. Um, I don't know if these are going to be too loose because it is quite saggy. I'm, I'm not really sure. It's kind of trying and error because I've only done it once before. Like I said, I can't even remember what it turned out like or how I did it. top um, I redid this one and just did it so the back it was going a bit further back because this bit was really baggy and then it, the curls were going to start really low down at the back and the same with this one I mean it's still quite baggy so they're still going to start lower down but it doesn't matter if you have a really thick hairband like this it was a lot easier because you can wrap it around once and then kind of let go of having to hold your hair hold the hairband and hold this um, whereas this one was a bit thinner and it was a lot harder to get in and get my hair into it so I had to kind of tuck it all in afterwards but yeah, that is done. So I will show you in the morning, well, not in the morning, in like four hours time, what it looks like and whether it worked or not. Probably should have brought some hairspray with me, but I haven't done that. Never mind. We will see whether it works in the morning. So I will see you in a couple hours. Is that your face? What did you just look at? Tweets and a grand pot of will not be sacked should chuck them out on top for this season. There's literally no way Big Tommy T doesn't get us top four this season and they still suck them. I just saw your face and saw you were really shocked I was just looking at you in the camera. I just don't, I don't, I just don't understand. Sam's a Chelsea fan and he's fuming that Thomas Tuchel got sacked. Tommy T! Also, if you haven't watched my last travel vlog, which was when we went to Poland, I was so scared of aeroplanes. I cried and I absolutely hate them. But so far I haven't freaked out. I have managed to contain my panic until I get there and then I freak out, don't I? You freak out massively. And when I get on the plane, I literally have to grab onto Sam's arm and like bury my head into him. And even for the takeoff and the landing, I'm terrible. I, I feel a bit better when we're in the air, but I'm still, if there's a tiniest movement, I'll grab him again. Like I hate going to the toilet. I'll hold it until I'm literally about to wet myself because I don't want to take my seatbelt off. Like, <laughs> do you remember when we were going to Poland and I went to go to the toilet, I needed a wing and there was a bit of turbulence, I literally legged it back, to the, back to the sea. <laughs> Plugged myself back in. Um, yeah, no, I really don't like it. I hate it. I have to try and distract myself when I'm in, in the air and like zone in on TV so I'm, or on a card game or something, whatever we play, so I'm trying to get my head out of thinking where I am and imagine I'm somewhere else so yeah that's not fun but we have that to look forward to tomorrow I always get so nervous in the airport oh so if I'm a bit weird tomorrow when I'm filming in the airport or when I'm going on the plane that's why because I'm freaking out inside it's quite good actually with the vlog because it distracts me like last time I actually managed to film a bit of the landing and actually looked because I was focusing on filming for the video. So hopefully that will work again this time. But I don't know. We will have to see. Anyway, I need to go because we need to go to bed. It is five. Mm. We are awake. Do the video. Uh. Um. So the hair thing, well, it fell out once and I had to redo it. I had to redo it because I have to leave. Um, and then I ha I kind of, well, so that's, that's the bit that was on my head, but it's fallen off the top of my head, but it was fine. And then I just got the two ends and just tied them together in like a bow to hold it. So that worked better. Um, so that was the bit that was supposed to be on the top of my head. And then that would be, so you can see, then, oh, 
it goes just really baggy then that would be like that so yeah i just got these two bits and then just tied them so that worked better to make it not fall out but this is the the look so i don't know if it's going to work to be honest so if i'm going to be asleep for a whole night then i have no idea how it'll work i'll pull it out oh kind of works that is not bad you know that, that size works better well, that's not bad pretty impressed with that um my friend did it the other day when she did it she put a roller across the top bit so she could do her fringe more so that is also um what i'd do if i had any but i didn't have any so yeah this side's better it's a bit more like bouncy and there's the curls start a bit higher up so that probably came less loose than the other side but that's not too bad and and it also looks like you've kind of made an effort then rather than just roll out of bed i mean this bit's a little bit loose but that is not too bad anyway please go because we're at the airport update on the curls they've fallen out they failed miserably we were in the waiting for like the transfer bus from the car park to the airport and it was like quite damp outside so they've dropped out so that's not ideal so now my hair just looks a bit of a mess if i'm honest we are now at spoons waiting for breakfast we got through check-in and security quite quickly, didn't we? But our flight's been delayed by an hour. 45 minutes. Well, yeah. Hopefully they might make up time in the flight. Because they're obviously, they must be on another flight. Hopefully they'll make up time and we won't be so delayed. But we're currently waiting for breakfast. I'm actually not scared currently. I'm still... I'm still not processing the fact that I'm getting on a plane because I haven't seen one yet. Wait until I see one, then I'll freak out. We have our breakfast. Sam has got a sausage sandwich, but now has also my toast and my sausage. And then I got breakfast. Um, but I have half, give, given Sam half of it. And we're gonna munch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually so hungry. I think this is the earliest I've eaten in months. Probably. Since we lost on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> We're just about to take off and I'm not being funny but there's some in-flight checks or whatever they're pre-flight checks that they're doing and there was some noise I've never heard in my life and I'm absolutely terrified. But what the hell was that noise? Like it was a weird noise, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a I'm so scared, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go on this plane now. What the hell? No. Get me off. I'm literally sweating. What was it? I don't know, it's boiling in it, that's why you sweat. I'm so scared. What was that noise? Why have I never heard that on any other plane before? But surely that's not normal. Alright. Rest in peace on us. I'm definitely gonna get copyright not copyrighted or whatever, but for this music, they're playing really weird music for this. was i still don't know what that noise was it never happened again thank goodness i actually my whole life flushes before me when i'm about to take off i seriously contemplate what the hell i'm doing with my life and why i'm here don't i You're I, useless as well. I literally go what am i doing why am i here but i have managed to prolong it until i'm literally about to take off which is good because otherwise i, I used to panic for like three days before so that's good at least i don't spend the whole holiday then worrying about going back home but we're here we're absolutely starving I'm going to do a room tour, but I'll do it later because um, we're hungry and we need to go get food. We're going to be classic British people and go and get McDonald's. We just want to try McDonald's everywhere we go because they always do new stuff. Like we had McDonald's in Poland and it was really nice and they did really cool stuff. They did like these chips that were like this big. I'm not even joking. They were bigger than my head. But anyway, I'm going to go and we'll film on McDonald's if we get any cool, interesting stuff that we don't get in the UK. Thank <laughs> you.
I'm actually so excited. McDonald's do such cool stuff. So I've gone with a chicken burger with curly fries. Curly fries. That's so cool. And what was my drink? Caramel. Some caramel cold latte. Cold caramel latte. Um, like a iced latte caramel. Like, why don't they do this stuff in the UK and they do things like strawberry cheesecake, apple pie, not apple pie, but like, you know, like the apple pies, the strawberry cheesecake one. They do like customise your own McFlurry, so you pick the sauce, you pick um, like everything you want on it. Whatever stuff did they have that was different? Uh, chicken wings and they had like... Yeah, chicken uh, and cheese box. Yeah, chicken and cheese boxes, like chicken nuggets and like cheese bites. And then they had some really cool like milkshake drinks. They had like Oreo milkshakes and different like coffee, cold drinks, hot drinks. It's pretty cool. Sam, what did you get? Some barbecue. A barbecue Western burger. Um, again, curly fries and coke. And I'll show you when it comes what it looks like. But yeah, they do such cool stuff. I wish they used to stop at home. Uh, sitting in the McDonald's and just seeing what's around. We were going to go and visit the football stadium with Berlin's team tonight, but we realised, thankfully, there's a football game on. Um, so we're so glad we didn't do that because it would have been mental. So we're going to do that tomorrow morning. So we're going to swap our plans around a little bit and go to some shops after we've had our McDonald's so that we have time to go to the stadium tomorrow because we've jam-packed as much as we can into our two days so we can do everything that we want to do whilst we're here. Food here. So there's the curly fries. This is my burger. And then, oh, Sam got some chicken nuggets as well, actually. Chicken nuggets. I'll show you his burger in a minute when he comes back because she's gone to get her sauces. And then this is my caramel coffee. I'd need to mix it because the caramel's all at the bottom. That is Sam's burger. He has already eaten it because he couldn't wait. Is it nice? Average. <laughs> Still haven't eaten mine, but it looks good. We're in a shopping centre, just turn the corner, and there's just like a river in the shopping centre. So cool. What is that all about? I don't know. Yeah. We're around the hunt for some Jordans. Sam, we just saw some that Sam really liked, but they didn't have them in his size. So we're on the hunt. This is like, this has actually barely got any shops compared to what's on the high street. Yeah, but we're on the hunt to see what we can find. I want to go to Primark. I'm easy to please. Is there anything on here you want to go to? No. no. Should we go out of here then? Yeah. Oh, can we go to Lush, please? Yeah, go ahead. I just want to go to Lush. Uh, EG 27. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, you're right then. So we are on the right floor. It's really hard to understand when you don't understand anything. You just have to guess, like when we went to the train to get from the airport to our hotel, like we had no idea how to get the tickets and we were just pressing buttons on the machine and you could turn it to English, which was fine. And we got the, t we managed to get the tickets and then it said, validate the tickets. And we were like, how on earth do you validate the tickets? We had no idea how to do it. Um, but then I Googled it and it actually told us, that was, that was all right. This, this shopping centre is not great, to be fair. It's not great. Well, this is where Lush should be, but... I saw it. I saw Lush from the outside. Is it up the floor? Yeah, I'm sure it is. Oh, we'll go up the floor then. I'm really something? confused. Oh, we'll go. Ooh, let's go in there and see what's in there. Um, this shopping centre, yeah, this isn't great. There's way better sh shops in the high... have just got back from our mcdonald's trip that turned into a very long trip we went to shoe shops so sam could try and find some jordans didn't you but they don't fit me because i have way old feet <laughs> what size are you 12 yeah or 13 it depends on the shoe he's got massive feet so they didn't have any in his size but we will carry on our hunt tomorrow now we are going to go to the spa because we're very tired, but I mean, we can't go to bed at, what's the time? Uh, half seven. Half seven, so it's half six UK time. It's actually half six at home. Yeah, but... It, feel, it feels like it's about 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, but we did get up stupidly early. True. Um, yeah, we can't go to bed already, so we're gonna go to the spa for a bit, and then we'll probably come back and watch some Netflix, and then go to bed. 
not very exciting evening for the first evening, but we're very tired. We will have a more exciting evening tomorrow. We're not, I don't think we're allowed to film in the spa, but I will take my phone and see if I can. But if not, then this will probably be the end of today's clips, but I will film what we get up to tomorrow. Welcome to the second day of our Berlin adventures. You don't fit me in the camera at all. Quits, um, yeah, you can't get in the water. Crouch down. We are going to get some breakfast. We couldn't get up this morning. We were really struggling. I think last yesterday's catching up on us and having no sleep the night before. We really struggled to get out of bed. So we're going to do a classic Megan and Sam and go and get a McDonald's breakfast. Yeah. Shock, because now we want to see what they have on their breakfast menu. I have actually got my tripod today, so we will have some not wobbly footage, although I haven't got it out yet. Yeah, so we're going to go get McDonald's breakfast and then we're going to head to the stadium in Berlin. So the football stadium and also it's held the Olympic Games a couple of times, I believe. And it held, was it the 2006 World Cup final? Yeah. 2006 World Cup final and a couple of other like World Cup games. Um, Sam wanted to go see it because he's into his football and he likes like football shirts and retro football shirts and stuff, don't you? So yeah. he wants to see if he can get like a Perfect football shirt from there, from the shop next to it. But we're not sure whether it'll be open because it's a Sunday. And to be honest, it does look a bit turned around, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really quiet. Like when we went to Poland, I did, if you've seen the video, you'll see that. I don't know. Did we actually mention? I don't even know if we did, but nothing was open on a Sunday, like how it used to be in the UK. Poland was like that and we literally couldn't get food or anything. No supermarkets were open. Nothing was open except in Poland they have Jewish quarters and that was the only thing that was open on a Sunday. Um, so luckily we knew about that so we could get food from there. But if you weren't aware of that, literally nothing was open. We thought we were going to start for the day. Um, so we're not really sure what the vibe is here on a Sunday. We did kind of have a look and I saw that the shopping centre was open from 1pm till... 7 p.m. but we're not sure whether that was correct or not because you said that a lot of shops you looked at weren't open today didn't you yeah well it might be the shopping center itself is open but none of the shops inside are open yeah so but then i don't know why you don't open the shopping center if you don't want to go to the shops yeah but they open i don't know they do do that um so yeah we're not sure so we're hoping the mcdonald's will be open i'm sure that will be i think it was a 24 hour one so i'm sure it will be we'll get breakfast and then Head to the stadium. It's quite cold today, actually. It's about 15 degrees. I've probably worn a jumper in like three months. Yeah, it feels weird to be wearing jumpers and stuff, but it was cold at home the other day, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you look is the stadium so it belongs to Hertha Football Club Hertha? BSC BSC? Is that uh, yeah BSC it's just up there, I don't and then they've also had the Olympic Games here as you can tell by the Olympic rings is that the shop over there? Well, I don't know it says visitors so we'll have a look this is what it looks like I think I don't think we can go all the way around we can only see from the front here, because there's gates, there's gates everywhere. everywhere. But it's still quite cool, yeah. you see. I thought it'd be like, because obviously I spot the mighty fucking Chelsea. But, um, but you can just walk around Stafford Bridge. I don't think they're very mighty this year, are they? No, fucking Tommy T's army and no more. <laughs> it's that time. You can walk all the way around? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, you can go to like the mega store whenever you want, it's like in the grounds. Oh, okay. Well, we'll just go to the business centre. Yeah, and if you can't get your t-shirt from here, then we'll just go back to the shop that's in the main town. Yeah. 
and then you can get one from there. Yeah. It looks quite cool though, doesn't it? Yeah. I see what you mean. It, it looks quite... Colosseum. Yeah, it gives me like um, Greek vibes as yeah. well. Yeah, that's, yeah. But then they've already done that because it was for the Olympic Games. Maybe. That's a bad guy. That's cool, we're about to get run over. Turns out, you can actually pay to go in. So we have some tickets. And we're going in. We're now in the gates. So apparently we were students. So, that works in our favour, didn't it? Yeah. So we're now going into the stadium, which is quite cool. It's, you can go and see like all of where they do the Olympics. So like the swimming, the hockey, all of that, but we haven't got time because we've got a table book for the two to watch Formula One. Somewhere on the complete opposite side of Berlin, so. How's it been? It's massive. Yeah, 75,000. It's huge. It's like well, um, Wembley, isn't it? Wembley's got the same service. Yes. Are you going to get it? Yeah. Should I like it? Yeah, it's fine. Do you want me to get you some joggers? Oh, uh, yeah, please. Medium? Oh. Right, so I found this quite funny. They have toilets, they're literally called pissers. Yeah, they're just be for men to have a piss. I know, but they're, f they're basically called pissers. Pissor. Pissor. Do you want to go for a pissor? Oh, you're not saying German accent. Pissor? I can't, how do you do a German accent? Uh, pissor. I've got, oh, I've got my, I've got my Thomas inner, Thomas Tugel impression. Yeah. Uh, nah, I'm just going French now. Ah, oh, God. What with this? Pissu. No, it's no, just French. French. I got it. Pissa. I don't know, I can't. It's that's only funny. two with a one time owner. But the stadium was cool. Very cool. Big vibes. What did you buy? I bought. You think you're going to give us a haul, are you? Yeah. You can um, give us a haul when you get back to the room. Oh, okay. Well, I bought some Berlin shorts and a top. I'll show you later when we go back to our room. Because that'll probably be a bit easier, won't it? Um, and now we are we're heading back to the station now and then we're going to the Brandenburg gate and then I think we were going to go to see the Berlin wall but we've got to well, we have to go to see Formula 1 first because yeah. so then we're going to have to go after that yeah all the shops are shut I've just checked so we're not going to be able to do new shopping today so we'll have to fit that in tomorrow what are we doing tomorrow? the zoo, zoo. And the aquarium, but apparently only, I looked earlier. Apparently, it only takes like two, three hours to go around. Okay. So we will have plenty of time. Yeah, that's fine. Tomorrow we will get up early. We will actually get up. Yeah. We won't do what we did this morning. No, I was knackered from having no well, like two hours yesterday. Yeah, same. What does zoom mean? Zoom. Four. Two. To the station. Because it said that on the um, other way, as in it said zoom. Uh, give me four, give me zoom. So you know, know. I mean? We're just walking down like through this woodland path thing to, from the station to the stadium.
car that we've come to watch Formula One. I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear me because it's super loud in here. We went to the Brandenburg Gate, as you would have seen in the video, and then we just walked from there to here. It was like a 20 minute walk, so I just filmed clips along the way, which I'll just put in before this, so you would have seen them already. Um, we're just going to have a bit of food here, and we're trying out some German beer, which well, is like... Belgian beer. Oh yeah, it's Belgian beer, actually. It's, what is it, 6 6.6% so um, probably shouldn't drink too many of them. It's called it's, it's actually really nice. I think that's probably the best beer I've ever that's drank. So nice. It's so smooth. really nice. Um, there's a fly on yours. So we're having that, we're going to watch Formula One um, and we're going to eat some food and then I'll probably pick the camera back up later because it's very loud in here so there's not really much for me to show you in here. I'll do a quick pan round of where we are but we're in a place called Belushi's in Berlin. It's a food, drink, sports and music bar. Um, when I googled best places to watch Formula One in Berlin, this came up and had some people who had been to um, Berlin saying about it. So we booked a table in advance. So if you're going and you want to watch Formula One, I'd book a table in advance because it's very busy. I'll just show you what it looks like in here. We're currently at the remainders of the Berlin Wall, so I didn't realise but they actually had like a wall as one part and then like a wired fence as yeah, another like part. Probably like a hundred foot like within the ground. And so the actual wall itself was built with like metal poles within it so that it couldn't be broken down. I'll just flip the camera around so you can see it. So that's what remains of the actual wall. Um, and then there's the metal poles that were like embedded in the wall so that it was harder to knock down and then you can see there there's some metal poles and that had wire going through it so that people couldn't um so it was like a double layer and this was this is the remainders of like a guard house and the observation towers to make sure no one was trying to get through like there's actual like metal cables going through the wall so it was yeah, much harder to break out. down it's like proper metal going through so this uh, it would have been here as well and you can actually see on the road where it would have gone through the road and high. where the building is currently now built going past the wall you can see where it would have run through i think there's some like a memorial thing over there there's that board let's go have a look at that oh a fun fact What's the fun fact about my year anymore? seven and my year eight form tutor was Miss Jensen. She then became Miss Voss. If you listen, shout out. Um, <laughs> she was here for the falling of the Berlin Wall. Was she? Yeah, she was well travelled. She um, she was here. I think she'd been to Bra Brazil for a bit, Portugal, places like that. Um, but yeah, she was actually. I'm pretty. I'm ninety percent sure that she was actually here for the fall of the Berlin Wall. That's so. quite cool. It's just bits of it dotted yeah. around everywhere. So they had like. Three layers there, there, and there. Yeah. Unless that's just a wall that's there. Unless they've moved. Yeah, I think that's actually just a wall that's there. What? Because it's different, yeah. Well, you're that one with it, the hedges? Yeah. The, yeah, yeah, no. No, no, no the one past it was that's got the graffiti on it down um, at the back because it goes round the corner no, and a down there. We'll go have a look. This is literally the divide that people had to live with. They weren't allowed over here. I would never have seen you. Literally. Again, if they put up this wall between our houses crazy yeah we're just gonna go and see what's over here because we can see that people are like in a viewing tower like up there if you can see so we don't know what it is around here so we're gonna go and have a look
about to head out for dinner. I am so annoyed. We brought the wrong travel adapters with us. Such stupid humans just didn't really think about it and just brought the same ones that we take to like Spain and stuff. And they don't fit. And we can't find one. I've, I looked in the shop and I can't find one. So I have got no hair straighteners. So I've just been having to like use the hair dryer on my hairbrush and put it so close to my hair to try and straighten it. I have all these weird little flyaway bits and it's just not not the same. So it's really stressing me out. So we're just gonna have to deal with this weird hair for the moment. Um, but I just wanted to show you my outfit for tonight. It doesn't really match, but. So I'm wearing this top. It's just come gone a bit funny with my jacket on, but it's supposed to be like a cow neck top and it's like satin. It's from Sheen. And then this pink jacket, which is from Bershka. And then I've just got some Zara jeans on. And then these shoes, which are also from Sheen. We are going to like an Italian that we saw last night. It looks really nice and it was really busy. So that's always a good sign. So we're gonna go there now. We hope they have a table. We haven't like booked or anything. So I'm not really sure, but hopefully they will. Otherwise we might have to find somewhere else. I took my jacket off so you can see my top better. Sam's outfit. Fred Perry polo shirt. Yes. And jeans, where are your jeans from? ASOS. What brand are they? Though? I don't know. Are they a brand? Yeah, they're a brand, but I ripped the thing off, so I don't know. They're Hugo Boss, I think. Pretty sure they are. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is our outfit. I actually really like this top, no? Yeah. It doesn't go with my jacket, but it's nice on its own. No, it's nice. We ordered pizzas and we literally have the biggest pizzas I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, in fact, it's huge. I can't, e you can't even do this justice. Like, I can't, like this is my hand. It's massive. You saw that? It is literally wham. <laughs> it's a wham daddy. Oh, okay. We are heading back to our room. We just had our food and sat chatting for a bit, didn't we? Yeah. I'm literally good. freezing. It's not cold. It's not even that cold. I think it's, what, it's probably about 13 degrees, maybe? Maybe a bit more, like 15? I don't know. It's also a tired thing. Oh, yeah, I think because we're really tired. I think we're just gonna go back and sleep. I will still do a room tour, I haven't done that yet because it is now a mess. Um, so I'll do it when we leave because then we will have to have packed up our suitcases and we do it tomorrow night. I can't believe we've only got one day left. I know, it's gone. <laughs> it goes so it quick. so far. Yeah, I think when you're on holiday for like 10 days or something like we were when we had to Fiat Ventura, it's like. It goes, it's not slow, but it just. You know you're there for a long time and I think by the end you're like, okay, I'm ready to go back home now. And that's also super relaxing, we've just been flat out. But yeah, I think with this, it's like, because you're so busy, it goes so quick. And then you're like, you don't have enough time to get everything in. Although I think we've done pretty well. We've done a lot today, haven't we? Yeah, we've been adventuring. We've been everywhere. We've been on the train about 65 times. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go back and chill for a bit. We're going to play cards. We've got some cards, Berlin cards in the like a gift shop earlier because we didn't before i forgot to bring ours with us we'll play cards and go to bed Went to the like, bar in a hotel to get some water. And this what? is the most expensive bottle of water I've ever bought in my life. Yeah, this they brought it over, and I was like, "Oh god, this could be like a hundred pound." I think it was like seven euros for a bottle of water. <laughs> we love that. Better save me this. The third of the price of our meal. 
Oh my god, yeah. Our meal was really cheap. I don't know why, but it was really nice. But it was, yeah, it was really cheap. Um, Alright. Look at fire alarms. That's what happens when you have a boyfriend who does fire alarms. He inspects. I've really found out how the fire alarm system in our room works. Um, you are. Yes, we fired it. Yeah, the most expensive bottle of water I've ever bought. I think I need to bring the bottle home as a student. Right, we're back in our room now, anyway. We'll give you the room tour soon. How was your hundred pound agua? Yeah, it's quite nice actually. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Well brain freeze. Worth every penny? Yeah. I do feel like I'm like swigging out a bottle of vodka or something. Yeah, it does quite look like it, doesn't it's it? You got a grey goose down, yeah? <laughs> no, it's quite nice. So this is the entrance of our room. So you've just got some wardrobes here. And a safe, just got my cupboard space. And then got a thing there to put your suitcases and bags on. And a desk, little drinks making area, Sam's suitcase, little seating area. And then you've got like a bench at the end of the bed. And then there's the bed, and that's that bit. And then if we go up here and through this door, this is the bathroom. Just got me and a pair of Sam's boxes, my pajamas on, <laughs> lovely, and the shower, massive shower. Quite a nice shower actually. Yeah, just the sink area. And then obviously the toilet. And then you come back out. Cut to editing me here that looks like an absolute mess. We are in the car on the way home from the airport and I'm just editing the video and it, as I suspected it is quite long so I have decided to split it in two. So I didn't want to leave the first half without an outro. So I thought I'd just quickly do one in the car and say thank you for watching. And please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and put the bell notifications on so you get alerted when I upload part two, um, which will probably be about a week after uploading part one. But yeah, there will be a part two coming. So thank you for watching.